Hello everyone, this is CMA Karthik. Today let us analyze the subject Strategic Cost Management and Decision Making that is SEM and DM which is paper number 16 of CMA Final Group 3. Now SEM and DM is divided into two parts Strategic Cost Management which is 60% and Decision Making which is 40%. Now first let us talk about Decision Making. In Decision Making there are 8 topics. Out of the 8 topics, 5 topics are same as in 2016 syllabus. Only these 3 topics are added in 2022 syllabus. For those students who have registered under 2022 syllabus, nothing changes for you. This is not for you. I have divided these topics specifically for those students who have converted from old syllabus to new syllabus. Now out of these three topics, maxima and minima is more or less same as the chapter called economic efficiency of firm in SPM and BV. Uh, you know that chapter which revolves around this formula, derivative of a power x is equal to x into a power n minus 1. These two other topics are new which is regression analysis and game theory. Now let's come to SEM which is 60%. SEM is div further divided into 5 parts. 5% goes for introduction which is completely theory. 5% goes for quality cost management which is maximum theory. There are around you know couple of sums I think around 3 to 4. Major chunk that is 25% goes for decision making techniques. Now I'll come to this later. 10% goes for ABC just in time and 15% goes for standard costing. Now coming to decision making techniques which is 25%. I have divided decision making techniques into three parts. Marginal costing which goes for 14 marks, transfer pricing which is 10 marks and other topics which are 10 marks. So this is the syllabus of SEM and DM. Now let us go to the study plan. The easiest way to tackle a subject like SEM and DM is to know the order in which we need to prepare the subject. Our first target should always be decision making part which is 40%. All the topics in DM are very easy. There are less number of problems in DM. And we need to be perfect with the DM part. So after finishing DM which is 40%, let's go to SEM which is 60%. And it's advisable to follow this order while preparing SEM. First start with the chapter called decision making techniques which is 25% as mentioned earlier. And while preparing this chapter, follow this order. First finish other topics, next finish transfer pricing and lastly come to marginal costing topic. After finishing this chapter, second chapter shall be ABC costing and just in time. This is another easy chapter and scoring chapter as well. Only after completing these two topics come to standard costing. Most of the problems are of inter level. Some advanced topics like reconciliation are there, we need to practice those. After completing standard costing, the last priority shall be theory topics. Just because I have put theory at the last place, that does not mean we should avoid theory. Theory should also be referred. I am not suggesting you to buy hard theory completely. It is advisable to have a basic idea about the theory topics. If in case we are stuck with any problem in the exam, then we can leave that problem as a choice and we can attempt theory. So in other words, theory shall be the lender of last resort while we are writing the exam. So this is the order to study SEM and DM. Now that we know in which order we need to prepare the subject, let us know what materials we should refer while preparing. For SEM and DM, the only savior is institute material. Yes, our institute material is more than enough for SEM and DM. Most of the problems will be repeated from our institute material. So every question in the institute material should be practiced thoroughly. Apart from institute material, compulsorily previous question papers should be referred. In every exam, previous questions are given as it is. The funny thing is, in some questions, the values are also not being changed. And lastly, the MCQ PDF, which is released by their institute. I have uploaded the PDF of this MCQ PDF in our Telegram channel. You can see it from there. So these are the materials we should refer. Now let's go to the resources part. SEM and DM is that subject wherein most of the chapters can be managed with self-study. Okay. Apart from self-study, there are some excellent resources that are available on YouTube. The first one shall obviously be BCCM Marathon by Ravi sir. This is for SCM part. All the topics in SCM are covered beautifully in this single video. For those who can understand Telugu, you can blindly refer this video. Apart from this, other resources are HGPA Marathon videos which are mostly in English and Hindi, these videos are also very good. If there is any doubt in any particular sum of any chapter, then we can refer Bhagyashree Hulle ma'am. 
Bhagyashree Hulle Ma'am videos wherein ma'am has solved almost all the sums in all the chapters explaining how the answer has been derived. But I don't think she has covered all the topics in DM but I am sure she has covered every topic in SEM. And for DM part there is a channel called CMA Junction. Now most of the concepts in DM are almost same as in CMA Intermediate OM. So if there is any doubt regarding any concept of any topic in DM part then we can refer CMA Junction videos. So these are the resources that we can follow for SEM and DM. Now let me tell you some special points that can be followed while preparing SEM and DM. Most of the following points are from my personal experience. As I already mentioned earlier, focus more on DM part. It is DM part that is going to save our exam. Even though it is only for 40 marks, if we practice perfectly then we can easily score around 35 marks in DM. So our primary focus should completely be on DM part. Next, don't ignore those three topics which are added in 2022 syllabus which is regression analysis, maxima minima and game theory. Come on guys, it is a simple logic. If new topics are added, that it is evident that those topics will be tested in the exam. So do not ignore these topics. After that, another major observation is, unlike SFM, the number of problems in SEM and DM are very less. Now this is both an advantage as well as a disadvantage. Advantage because the number of problems are less, so we can finish the syllabus quickly. But the disadvantage is, since the number of problems are less, we need to practice all the problems. There are hardly any repeated problems. So my point is, do not ignore any problem. Do not take any problem as choice. I'll give you an example. While preparing June 23 exams, I think in the chapter called decision making techniques, Due to you know laziness and overconfidence, I have taken only one problem as choice. I did not practice that. Uh, I did not practice that problem, thinking that this might not come in exam. And when I saw the question paper, the second question in that paper was that problem that I have left for choice. And by the time it was already late, I could not attempt that problem, and I have unnecessarily wasted ten marks. So do not ignore any problem. And the next point is practice. SEM and DM requires a lot of practice. Because each and every problem is different in its own way. In my opinion, while preparing SEM and DM, rather than focusing more on the logic part, practicing the problem multiple times and remembering it is more easy. So practice, practice and practice. And lastly, another major problem of SEM and DM is, we'll be seeing the question, we'll be understanding what he's asking. But the problem is, we don't know how to present the problem. This is called pro forma. In SEM and EM, there are a lot of performers to buy heart. This can only be simplified by regular practice. So this is the analysis video of SEM and EM. Trust me guys, SEM and EM is the most easiest subject out of group 3, especially in terms of syllabus. The syllabus is very limited, but the only thing is we need to practice more. And it can be the most scoring subject out of the group 3. Thank you.